channel Random with Jay, and today I am going to give you all a story time, okay? But before I get into the story time, I just want y'all to know if y'all say, oh, Jessica, girl, you look bad, you look tired, girl, you just look horrible. I just want y'all to know I am tired. I haven't been out the house since Monday. I've been too busy doing work, taking care of Haley, cooking, and it's just been a lot. And today, y'all almost didn't get a video. <laughs> but you know what? I want to stay committed to y'all because I feel like y'all going to stay committed to me. So every five days, we're getting a video. But before I start this, this story time, take this time out to subscribe. I think it's right here. To subscribe. If it's not, y'all know where it's at, okay? So take this time out to subscribe to this channel, all right? You can t like and comment later. You know, I want my likes to be legit, all right? All right, so let's get into it. All right, y'all. So the title of this story is, It's a Fire in the House, okay? I should just call it Fire, because I'm going to tell y'all why I should call it Fire. But anyway, so this is a two-story video. This is it will have two stories in it because these are both experienced the fires with me. Okay, so the four, first story is the day I almost set my daddy's house on fire and I almost got away with it. So this happened back in the gap when I was young, not too young, and it was me, my sister, and my step cousin at the time. And it was one of those morning everybody wake up. We always cook our own breakfast. Mind you, the adults are gone. We old enough to stay in the house. So don't be like, oh, the adults gone. They leaving kids by themselves. No, we old enough to stay at the house by ourselves. Anyway, but um, the adults was gone. We was hungry. So we ain't no cooking breakfast. So this, this breakfast consists of those little sausages. Not the ones that come in the tube, like in Jim, them, not Jimmy Beans. What the they call? Them, you know who what I'm talking about. Them, not the ones in the tube, but the ones that come that's already frozen and packaged, already circled and stuff. One of those. So I don't know who did it. The first time they, you know, they put the sausages on the pan and put it in the oven. It's between my sister or cousin. So. They put the sausages on the uh, on the uh, stuff, and they put it in the oven. So first go around, you know, nothing happened. We good, we cool, nothing is happening. You know, we ate, and after we ate, we were like, man, I'm still hungry. So go on, just whip up the same thing we already ate. So this go around, they put it in, one of them put it in, and that's you know, we chilling this and we like so smell burnt. Like, you know. But <laughs> so that's you know, we keep they like, it's a fire. And I was like, oh my goodness. And then, mind you, I'm the type of person that if you say fire to me, panic. I just panic. So, at first, I didn't panic. Let me take that back. I didn't panic because I thought it was like a little small fire. You know, you can get rid of it. So, one of them put water on the fire. Now, this is when I panicked. The moment they splashed that water on that fire, it got big. So, guess what happened? I jumped up. Fire! Oh, snap! Y'all, ooh, what we gonna do? What we gonna do is a fire. Mind you, let me tell you about me. If it's ever a fire... I always told people I would leave because one of us got to tell the story. One of us has to go tell somebody or get help. It don't make sense for all of us to be in that house and it catch on fire. Who, what I'm sitting in the house for and it caught on fire? Somebody got to go. So I, being me, I left. So I left outside and I went next door to my neighbor's house. Her name we gonna call her Miss Flower, F L O W E R. We gonna call her Miss Flower. So 
I went to Miss Flower House and I was like, it's a fire. What are we going to do? I don't know what they doing in there. All I know is that they in that house and it's a fire in there. So she came. She's like, okay, give me a second. You know, she was like a little elderly lady. And so she was like, okay, give me a second. She wasn't too old though. But she's like, give me a second. I'm coming. And so she came over. Mind you, I guess one of them figured out that it was a grease fire and they got some flour. And they pour all that flour, like it was a new bag of flour. They got that flour and pour it all in them. Like that oven was nothing but flour. The floor was nothing but flour. That kitchen was flour. So after Miss Flour had seen that we got the fire out, she helped us clean up. Like we like when I say we took trays out the oven, we cleaned all that, we cleaned everything and stuff like that. Everything was spotless. You and Miss Flower ended up giving us a bag of flour to replace that flour that we <laughs> I know I'm saying flour a lot, but she gave us a flour, some flour to replace that flour that we use, what they use. So after that, we thinking that, okay, this this what we thinking we got away with it. So I guess one of the parents, I think it was my daddy. I think it was my daddy or my stepmom at the time that came. It was one of them that came home. Y'all set the house on fire. And we was looking like, what you talking about? You know, we, like, what you talking about? Ain't no fire. You look, the house is still here. Like, you know, you go in the kitchen and see that it's nothing. Like, no traces of flour. That's, like, we on our knees scrubbing. That's how good. It was spotless. Like, you, like, spotless. You couldn't even trace a bag, nothing of flour. So, we was like, what you talking about? Guess who told on us? Miss Flour. She but she didn't tell on us to be mean or to be like, yeah, them kids. She, cause she wasn't like that. She was a nice lady. And she was like, oh yeah. Cause I guess she was walking out when they was driving in. And like, I guess they was like, what's going on? She was like, oh, the kids had a little accident. The oven caught on fire. And that, that I guess that's my way of her telling on us in a nice way. But like, you know, our parents, they got the house on fire. Da, 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 da. And Miss Flower was like, you better not punish them kids. And you better not do that. And they were scared for their life, but they figured this situation out. You better be happy that the house didn't catch on fire. Or what else she said? This is my mind of what she's saying. But like they kind of told me a little bit what she said, but this is in my mind what she said. And you better be glad the house is not on fire and, and they are still alive. You better not punish those kids. So guess what? We went on free. <laughs> so that's the first story. So that's the first story. <laughs> so that is how we almost caught my dad's house on fire and I always got away with it. Okay, time for story two. This time it happened in my mama's house. I don't know why it's happening at my parents' house, but it's happening now. This happened at my parents' house. So, at this time, I was in my teenage years. I was that teenager that I didn't want to talk to nobody. I was just in my room all the time. And my sister and my mama, they were in my mama's room. I was in my room being antisocial, halfway asleep. No, I was asleep. And I didn't want to go in there and talk to my mom and them. So I was in there asleep. So I, as I'm asleep, next thing you know, I hear boom, 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 boom. I'm like, what they doing? Like, I, like what's going on? Why they making all that noise? Next thing you know, I hear my mom and them, it's a fire, it's a fire, it's a fire. I was like, fire! <laughs> I'm asleep. I'm like, fire! Oh, it's a fire, guys, it's a fire! So y'all, when I say the panic, ooh, mind you, I am not 100% awake. I'm like, what y'all want me to do? It's a fire. What y'all want me to go? Like, what I supposed to do? Go get some water. Da -da 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 -da. Let me tell you how the fire started. So my sister then was in the bed. The bed is on the wall. So I guess it was like something plugged up and it sparked and it sparked caught the bed. And they said that they smelled something burning and they realized it was, you know, the bed burning. So I'm getting water. I got, I'm like, <laughs> y'all, I'm getting water. Like, they get the bed and they bring it to the living room. And I'm got, like, pictures of water and I'm pouring it on the bed. 
Mind you, y'all, that house was full of water. So, I'm like, what y'all want me to do? Y'all, I promise you, I bust my butt in that water. Because <laughs> I'm just waking up. I'm getting water. And I'm like, okay. Next thing you know, they say, take it outside. I'm like, y'all, take this outside. I'm not going to take this outside. I can't. I'm small. I can't take this up. Pick this up. So, my mom and my sister, they took the bed outside. And... Y'all, this stuff went straight to flames. Like, as soon as it went outside, the whole bed caught on fire. Mind you, let me tell you about my no good neighbors. And not one person came outside to see what was on fire. Now, one person called the uh, fire department. We called the fire department. Now, one person, that when the next day, they didn't even know. That our house, not our house, but our bed caught on fire. They didn't even know that. But, y'all, so the fire department came. My sister, they was like, what's going on? They told them my sister. They was like, oh, that's good thinking. Because my sister turned the burger switch off. See, when it comes to fire, my sister know what to do. Me, on the other hand, I'm leaving. I am not going to stay there. I am leaving. I'm not going to stay. Like I said earlier, I am the one who's supposed to leave the house, go get help, and be the one to live to tell the story. That is me. I, to this day, I stand on that. If my house, God forbid, if my house or apartment catch on fire right now, since I'm a mother now, I'm taking my child. And we leaving this house because we got to go get help, and we got to be the one um, to tell the story. I love my husband, but he grown enough to know he need to leave this house too. You get what I'm saying? And when Haley get older, she gonna have to know. Like right now, she don't know. But when Haley get older, she gonna have to know. Because somebody got to go and live and tell the story. And at, at the end of the day, it's gonna be me. <laughs> but y'all, I'm so serious. That day, we lost the bed. And it was a good bed too. We lost the bed because it was electrified. So, that's the end of it. All right, y'all. So, the moral of both stories. First, don't you put sausages in the oven. Don't uh, put water on the grease fire. I'm pretty sure y'all already know that, but that's how I learned it. Don't put water on the grease fire. And flour, if you got it, will help. Flour or a pot of substance will help with that. More of the story for the second story. Do not have your bed by a socket at all because the electricity can pop on the bed and the bed can catch on fire. Okay? Bed have cotton. I don't care how much water you put on, that fire is burning through the cotton. So be careful with that. More of both stories. Somebody got to live and tell the story. <laughs> Be smart. If you want to save your house, save it. I don't blame you. But if you another person, live to tell the story. Leave that house. Leave it. It's okay. I hope y'all got insurance. If you don't, you made a way. You can make it away again. But at the end of the day, fires is not, if you know, if you anything like me, fires are not for you, okay? leave okay you can try but if it get out of hand you better have your first exit i'm just gotta go okay so <laughs> that's the moral of both stories and the moral of each story all right y'all so that's the end of my video thank you all for watching you already know what to do you like subscribe and hit the bell button so you can get notifications that I post something. And leave comments, ideas, anything. I will take them. Alright? Alright, y'all. Bye.